Today is Sunday, December 9th, 2012, and this is a rocket stove update. Uh, temperature here is about 43 degrees. It's overcast. Uh, it rained a little bit this morning. Um, stove's fairly well put together as far as all the components. It's been burning now probably for about three hours. I get a shot of the uh, firebox there. Um, it, it seems to be drawn in relatively good. And as expected, you can see the ceramic is cracked and in places also coming off, which is, uh, was anticipated and expected. Um, for the most part, some aspects of this I'm, I'm happy with, others uh, I am not. Uh, a couple of things, I guess, is I. Uh, Still questioning the uh, the piping here. I have a 90 here and a 90 here. This is a uh, kind of an accordion bent pipe, so it has like ridges or ribs in it. Um, I thought maybe those might have helped. Uh, you know, kind of normally you'd want a square back back here to get air turbulence running around here in this back area um, going on up into the flue stack. I don't know if I'm necessarily getting that back there. So, what I may end up doing is replacing this portion of the uh, of the project. Now, what I go with, I'm not sure. You know, if if I can find um, some uh, you know black pipe tees, uh, I might consider that there, since you know the arrangement we have set up here for the tee there towards the back, and of course one here in the front. Uh, I went uh, when I was. First start of this project, the design intent was to find as much as I could off the shelf components uh, with a moment of fabrication. Now, I did do a little bit more fabrication than I than I anticipated here at the start, like the stand and some of the uh, welding to the uh, bottom of the lid here. And as you see there, the uh, that is some smoke coming off of this here. This barrel is just sitting on top of the lid now. That's the ring clamp for it. I don't really anticipate that having a good seal, so uh, what I'll just do here is the, on your traditional wood burning stoves, is the uh, cloth insulation gasket. I'll just buy some of that roping and just stick it on the bottom there and put this on top and seal it. I should take care of that. So, uh, for the most part though, I am, for a, uh, the fire that is uh, burning in here and coming out here, this is cool to the touch I mean I, it, there's some warmth here uh, not, you know it, it's, it's cooler than what your um, uh, dryer vent would be but I am I am kind of surprised that of course it is 43 degrees outside here and so you know I there is some uh, temperature difference there also you can see I'm I am getting some condensation built up and you know I'm getting some water drippage there uh, where, where that pipe comes out on top of the of that uh, cement block it's it's also wet uh, there at the end um, it is steam vapor but I do get a little sense of uh, smoke smell every now and there and that may be back to the fact that this configuration here and also I don't have this wrapped yet either so you know this isn't getting as hot as it should be internally there in the combustion so other than that overall um, there's still a lot of things that uh, to do this yet. Like I said, this is going to be an ongoing project uh, during the course of this winter. It's for me. It's kind of a, a build and see. I get some of the concepts down, and then just think of things that uh, different avenues. What may work, what may not work, and see what the results are. Uh, here, I don't have the uh, an additional stack here on top of this here either at this point, but. For right now, it's uh, it's pretty much a update at this point. Thanks for watching.